welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Today, I wanted to do a full vase of nothing new. I want to make these a routine on my channel. I got the idea from Allie Glimes. I will have her channel linked down below. I just love her whole idea behind this. Using makeup that's not new, that we have in our drawers, that are amazing product that we just need to get back into the groove of using. So if you're interested in seeing exactly how this looks, well, how I create this look, go ahead and keep on watching. I feel like I have a lot of really good products here that I'm just excited to use. I'm first going to go in with a primer and this is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I'm almost actually finished with this. It's great if you have dry skin, it's very hydrating and it gives just this glow from within, this luminosity. I will say the only thing, one of the only things I don't really care for is the scent. It's a very floral musk. I probably won't be buying another one of these when I'm finished just because there's a couple others that I really like more. I have a lot of, I feel like good products here. I am so not used to going out of my routine. I usually go with, in with my foundation now, but I am going to use this Huda Beauty Desert Dusk Eyeshadow Palette. I believe this is the first Edition, I believe they remade this palette with I don't know better formula something like that But my sister my older sister gifted this to me a couple years ago And I've used it a couple times But I feel like I really need to just dive right in and create a look that I haven't created in a long time Like something really dark vibrant smoky rather than my normal bronzer in the crease blush in the crease Let's go. It's snowing outside today. It's a winter wonderland I'm not going anywhere, so let's just take the extra time to do our makeup. What I will say with this palette, the mirror is a high quality mirror. It is just phenomenal. I could use this. You know how there's some mirrors that kind of have a little wave to it? You can tell when it's a cheap mirror. This definitely is not a cheap mirror. Let's go in with a transition shade. I'm going to mix both Desert Sand, which is this color, and Eden and put that in my crease. With using a fluffy brush, this is the M441 Goat Haired, great for blending. If you have oily lids, I would highly recommend priming your eyes beforehand. I did not I did not prime and I felt like it was harder to blend, especially on the inner corners. It just ended up, when I was blending, kind of brushing away the work that I had already done but it was too late to go in with a concealer. It's a good thing I'm going in with like some metallics on the lid, so it's not going to really matter. But let's go ahead and use the same brush and go in with, let's darken this eye look up, up a bit. Let's go in with amber and just put that in our crease and all over. going to go in with a little bit of a smaller brush. This is the JH40. It's very small tapered and I'm going to go in with a darker color, this OUD shade right here. This is what it looks like so far. I'm definitely not a professional makeup artist, you know? I'm just not. And these eye looks while I love the final product, they are time consuming, but they're fun. Every once in a while, it's a great thing to do. Ugh, I'm trying to open up my concealer. I don't know why it's not open. I got it open. I had to go run it under hot water. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that on this brush, this little flat haired brush, carve out a crease. <laughs> So I cut the crease, looks like this, and then I'm going to go in with this color, Angelic, right here, just with my finger. Pat that. Wow, that's such a pretty color. It's duochrome. All right, now we're done with the eyes, but we are gonna go back in and finish them up a little later. Let's go ahead and go in and use some foundation. This is a beauty blender, and I'm using the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. I did a review on this, I'll have it linked down below. I really like this foundation though. It's lightweight, it has sunscreen. I feel like it's finely milled, so it leaves just a nice airbrushed look. I'm going to use the foundation to do cleanup. I don't have any makeup wipes down here, so that's what we're gonna use. This shade is a little dark for me, 
especially right now. I don't have any self tanner on. This foundation does have like a nice inner lum luminosity and it's lightweight. So it's not a full coverage. It's not even a medium coverage. I say this is more of a light coverage foundation, but I do feel like it is buildable. Foundation is completely on. This is also a great foundation in the summer because it has SPF built into it, SPF 50. That's a lot and that's amazing. Going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer again, and now we've got to conceal. I just like to, this reminds me a lot of the Tarte Shape Tape. It has a great thick wand, the product's great, it's blendable, it's more of a full coverage concealer. And this is what I'm going to use to kind of cut that eyeshadow a little bit, give it some control. And then I did go a little overboard on the concealer, so I'm taking remnants and using it to highlight where I would normally put concealer as well. I've been trying not to style my hair barely at all, like style it once a week. I feel like my hair needs the break, but we're not talking about hair. Going in with a setting powder. This is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. It's a little bit on the pricey side. It's $46. I, it's been in my collection for such a long time and I have a backup of it. It's something that's not going anywhere anytime soon. It's great if you have dry skin and I just use this in such a way that, I'm trying to find a good brush for this. We'll, we'll just use this. I'm slowly running out of makeup brushes clean makeup brushes. And I just take a little bit of that and I like to set my concealer. I always like to use a loose powder to set concealer and then I go in with a press powder to set the rest of my face. For my test setting powder, I'm going in with the Milani Prep Set and Go Translucent Powder. This one's great if you have dry skin, normal skin, doesn't matter. It applies really lightweight, not too heavy. It leaves just, just a nice light set and I just always like to use big, a big fluffy brush with patting motions. I really want to finish up the eyes, so I'm using this small E18 Morphe brush, and I'm going to go in with Amber and then OUD. I feel like one eye always ends up turning out better than the other. I think this one's probably my good eye today. I'm going to go in with some eyeliner. This is the House Laboratories Liquid Liner. I really like it. It applies really well, um, and it's on Amazon, and I'm just going to create, we'll see if I create a wing. I was angry. A lot of how a wing turns out is based upon the product you use. I have, I used to love this NYC black liquid liner and it was only $3, but they discontinued it. I'm trying to do like this cute inner corner <laughs> liner and I don't know if it's turning out very well. Guys, this is not good. This is not good. I have nothing to clean this up with down here. Like there has to be a way that I can make this work. I'm going to go in with some of my brow product with this little pencil that has like this little end and I'm going to try to make it work like that. Guys, how do they make that look so easy? <laughs> it, looks so, it looks so bad. Okay, ran upstairs, grabbed a Q-tip and a makeup wipe. It is a great eyeliner. I don't know. Sometimes like this side of the wing turned out okay. This side turned out better. It's just a little spot. It's a little hair mess. I've really been wanting to use this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liquid Liner. These are some of my favorite. It intensifies your look because glitter in a palette usually isn't super intense, but this, it just works so so well, and they have so many different colors. It's just a really easy to apply. Let's go ahead and do brows. Something that I used to use all the time is this foolproof goof, what is it? Foolproof brow powder. And the packaging is great because it has like a gradient. So you have the darker shade on the outside, the lighter on the inner. And I'm using this little brush. I highly recommend like an angled brush. ABH Anastasia Beverly Hills has a great one. It has just been a while since I've used a brow powder. So this is a shade number three. I forget how forgiving 
brow powder is and the application is just easy nothing goes on too dark there's no harsh edges wow I completely forgot how amazing this product is. What I'm going to do though, I feel like with almost any brow product, it's really good to set it down. And this is the Gimme Brow by Benefit as well. These little microfibers that create more dimension in your brow and it sets it and then lifts. It's like mascara for your brows. Brows ever turn out the same? This brow is crazy. I cannot, it does not look good today. <laughs> Well, I don't know what else to do with it. That's just, hey, it's just life, right? Let's go in with bronzer. I haven't used the butter bronzer in a really long time. Used to be one of my favorites, and then I just kind of moved on to different things. So let's go ahead and use this Morphe E34. Add some color back in. Actually, let's use the Morphe R10. I need a goat hair brush for this. Natural hair to brush. I love the scent of this bronzer. Sometimes I do feel like it pulls a little too orange for me. I'm in the shade Sun Kiss Bronzer, which I think is one of the middle shades. I'm going to go in with a good banana powder. This is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, and I'm going to use a combination of Lyric and Levitation to just kind of brighten some things up. I'm in love, I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you. I love how it just brightens, erases. With blush, I'm really excited to go in with this Anastasia blush kit. It was a holiday edition for of just beautiful everyday blushes. It was a holiday edition, so you can't get this anymore too. I'm sure you can find something very similar. These are just very normal blush shades. There's nothing crazy unique about them. Now I'm just gonna use that to intensify my look a little bit more. I use the, some of the darker blushes toward the back here, and then I go in with a lighter pink at my cheeks. And with highlight, we're kind of doing the same thing. This is the Glow Kit by ABH, the Sugar Edition. I think they actually still have this in stock. I like to just use a combination of these two shades right here. The hard thing is finding a good um, highlighter brush. I'm just going to use my blush brush and see how it goes. Except that one doesn't have a mirror in it. Lately I've been using bigger brushes to do my highlight. I feel like it just adds a natural sheen rather than anything too... And then I'm going to take the, both of those on the tip of my finger and an inner corner let's do lips before we do mascara i'm going in with this makeup revolution satin kiss lip liner in the shade chauffeur just gonna line my lips the prettiest pink and the formula is really smooth so far i haven't had any problems i'm in love i'm in love i'm in love i'm in love with you i'm in love with you then let's go in with, I think I'm just going to use this lipstick. This is the L'Oreal Paris in the shade Ferris Nude. I love drugstore lipsticks. I feel like they do just as well as high-end, but I haven't really used a lot of high-end lipstick. With setting spray, this is the ABH Dewy Set. set Dewy Set. I got this about last year. It's definitely hydrating, definitely dewy. The spray isn't the super fine spray mist, but I do love the packaging and I love the formula. So while that's drying, I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Double X, not L'Oreal Infallible, L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara. It's one of my favorites and that, that will finish off the look. product. I think it turned out great. 
Very time consuming, but fun. Every once in a while it is enjoyable to do some of these videos, but if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.